Hey everyone, Thornton here, and if there's one thing that the finals is known for, it is a spectacular destructive gameplay, but there is a darker side to the game right now, and that is the massive amount of cheating going on within the game. Now, there have been tons of steps with new updates to fix the issue. Unfortunately, there were some false bans. The devs won't probably region lock. There's a bunch of stuff going on, and today we're going to discuss what are the main issues for the cheating in the finals, how are they going to fix it over at Embark Studios, and when is the game going to be playable where you don't run into a cheater every two seconds. But without further ado, let's Let's jump into the today's topic. So the issue of cheating in the finals is going to lead to a pretty big outcry from the community and well it's kind of already happened. In response, Embark Studios, the developers behind the game of the finals, has acknowledged the issues which is great and has committed to taking a bunch of actions to make sure that the cheating is curbed in future updates. And they do recognize that the fact that this game is completely dependent on having a fair and enjoyable gaming environment for everyone to enjoy. That being said, there has been some hardships already with some of the steps they've taken and what might happen in the near future. So let's go over some of those measures that they've actually implemented so far. And the first one is they did add in a enhanced easy anti-cheat system, which was part of a patch released in December. And it was aimed at minimizing the impact of cheaters on the gaming experience, which is fantastic. It's something that we all wanted. And it's nice that they were so quick to push this out. However, even though it was pushed out very quickly, the game has actually still continued to face challenges with technical issues hindering the efficient banning of those cheaters. So let's go ahead and talk about the false bans and the technical issues and one of those setbacks is the occurrence of those false bans. So you see when the game had its first major ban wave which Embark Studios let us all know about it took place on December 31st in fact right before the new year and it unintentionally affected some innocent players. The inadvertent banning of those players including popular Twitch streamers that have been helping to make the game more visible on that platform raised concerns about the accuracy and effectiveness of the anti-cheat measures because well if you're getting falsely banned how are you knowing if you're actually getting the actual cheaters as well. Not to mention there is something that other players probably have experienced at some point and that's the TFA V0012 internal anti-cheat integrity check failed error and some of you might be like what the hell is that but some of you might also have a pretty good idea when this actually happens it's a failed error code and it basically makes it impossible for you to enjoy the game now they did give us some tips on how to get around it to address the issue players were advised to disable third-party programs check the integrity of game files update their windows and repair the easy anti-cheat executable file in the finals game folder so if you're still dealing with this issue any of those options should help you. But once again, raises questions on the effectiveness of banning cheaters when regular players can't access the game and it's causing issues on a widespread scale. Something that was brought up, and this is brought up, I think, in every cheating discussion, because for whatever reason, the Asia region tends to have a ton of cheaters on it. And so players have brought up the idea of region locking, and players want this as a solution to cheating. However, Embark Studios has firmly rejected this approach. Embark emphasized that cheaters are present in all regions and that region locking would both be impractical and unfair. And the developer cited technical issues as the primary reason for not officially banning cheaters in certain regions. Which makes me kind of wonder if we're having so many technical issues with region locking and cheating, does Embark Studios need to hire more for their team? Because it seems like this public release with all this going on might be a little bit too much for the studio to handle all at once, at least at its current size. However, even though it is a smaller studio as of now, they have been very good on updates. And they've maintained open communication with the player base through platforms like Discord where they are incredibly active and as I've said in past videos is a shining example of what you want to see in dev studios in this modern day of gaming and the studio has acknowledged those ongoing issues and assured players that updates are in progress it has been specifically quoted that they are going to be addressing pain points and providing regular updates however there are long-term implications if they can't provide those updates or they take too long to get done because the ability to effectively address the cheating problem holds significant implications for its long-term success if the developer fails to resolve any of the cheating issues or just the overall technical issues, player dysfaction may lead to a decline in the game's popularity and user base. We see this in pretty much any game that has these kind of issues. And the commitment to ongoing updates and transparency and addressing challenges is going to continue to play a crucial role in shaping the game's future. Luckily though, they seem to be pretty on top of it. So in conclusion of all this, the finals journey in dealing with cheating issues reflects the complex landscape of online gaming, if I'm being honest, because the finals is not the only game that deals with all of these issues with cheating. You got Valorant, Apex Legends, anything that is competitive people will cheat and try to ruin the experience of others and if you do cheat you're a dick i do think that the finals will find success in this it will be interesting the approach they have to do so but how they navigate the challenges is ultimately going to shape its position in the competitive gaming market and i'm hopeful that it will continue to succeed and thrive let me know down below what are your guys' thoughts on the cheating in the finals have you experienced any of these issues or do you think that it is being overblown a little bit too much and if you guys are looking for more finals content don't forget to check out this channel right here and as always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video